Hey guys, welcome back. We have two quests that we need to do over here, and they both involve killing trolls and taking names, I guess. Um, they're a little bit of his way, so I'm going to speed this up here. And we are here. So we're going to walk up here and we're going to kill some stuff. While we're here, I'm going to talk about tracking a little bit because I did just get a profession. So if you click on this little magnifying glass here, you pick up tracking. So what you can do in here, you can track a bunch of things under townsfolk. Like I'm going to track uh, mailbox and repair. You can track pets, you can track warboards, you can track a whole bunch of stuff in there. Um, and if you have a profession, you can track the gather stuff for that profession such as right now I'm tracking uh, minerals and herbs both of which are for my gathering professions minerals for mining and herbs for herbalism obviously doop -doop -doop. and we're just going to kill all these trolls as fast as I can Now you might have noticed before with the trogs that sometimes enemies will attack you even if you're not attacking them. This is what's known as aggroing them. Um, if their names are in red, that means they will attack you if you get close enough to them. If their names are in yellow, they will ignore you. And if their names are in green, you cannot attack them. They cannot attack you. Simple as that. It's all color-coded. So like these guys, their names are all in red. So if I get close enough to any of them, they will start attacking me. Or my bunny. I wonder what pet I should get. I think I'm going to stay with my bunny for now, but I'm not sure. Do I have you? I do have you. I think I have most of the ones in on Eastern Kingdoms, but not all of them. Ooh, there's a note I can farm. Mine, mine. Beep, beep, doo. And whenever you get to a node, you can mine or herb or whatever. It will again be highlighted, so it sticks out to you, and you just shift right click it to mine it. Oh, speaking of which, something that I should have mentioned in the very first video, but I forgot to because it's, you know, a lot of stuff becomes second nature to you after you played for a while and you don't realize that other people might not know this, especially if they're new. When you go up to someone to loot it, you can either left click it to pull up this loot screen and then you have to individually click each item, which is all right for beginners or in uh, low level stuff, especially in the overworld, because they'll generally just drop some currency. However, when you get to bosses, that can drop 10 items. That starts to get a little, um, a little much. So if you shift over it, you'll see your bag, your one bag becomes three bags, and then you can left click it, and it'll loot everything the boss drop or everything the enemy drops. Simple as that. All right, time to head back. So I'm gonna speed this up again. And we are back. We're back at Karen House. We're going to turn in these two quests. And then we're going to head on. I think there's actually more uh, another part of the quest chain here. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, I can't wait to get him out. It's at level 20. So we're getting there, slowly. Very slowly. I actually have shoes now, so that's nice. Ooh, I leveled. I'm 7. Yay. And you have a quest. What can I do for you? Ooh, you give me pants. That's nice. And we're just gonna keep moving on. 
Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Grooving on. Hooving on. I don't have hooves. I'm not a Draenei. Or a Torn. I guess I could be... No, I'm not a Torn. I'm the opposite of a Torn. And I'm a Gnome. Are Gnomes the opposite of Torn? I think so. Probably Goblins would be the opposite of Torn. Because Gnomes are more concerned with... Uh, ingenuity and tinkering around than they are with profit which is not you know exactly opposite of uh tauren unlike goblins concerned with profit is now this is another cave as i have mentioned before that has identical caves just like it all around the world it's just a reskin of this one well and this one's a reskin of other ones and so on It just makes the design easier, and it makes our lives easier going through the caves if we're like, oh yeah, now I need to turn left, and it's a little boring though, but I understand why they do it. At least they don't do that in Legion. Legion caves are much more, uh, like I said before, Legion caves are not as copy-paste as the old world caves are. There's still a little bit of copy-paste in them. But not nearly as much. Actually, I don't think there's any copy paste in them. I can only think of like four or five caves. No, that's a lie. There, there are a couple of copy paste ones, but they are few and far between. I think like three of them are copy paste. And most of them are for the... Uh, um, jellyfish uh, optional quest line it's not even a quest the jellyfish quest line but I don't know what else to call it I don't even think you get an achievement for it you get a mount for it so that's important one of the three hidden mounts that I know of uh, there's the jellyfish riddler's mind worm and uh, um, what's the other one Something Nightmare. Lucid Nightmare? Either way, I have all three of them. I think I like the Riddler's Mind Worm the best of all of them. Because the Jellyfish one is an aquatic-only mount. Um, the Lucid Nightmare was a lot harder to get than the, than the other two. But it just... It has a what a lot of people refer to as a donkey kick animation to it. Um, when I get to level 20, I'll show you what I mean. But since I can't use it right now, I can't show it to you. It's also a ground mount, so it's kind of boring. But it is a purple unicorn, so that's cool. And it was a pain to get. It's still going to be a pain to get. It's going to be a pain to get forever. Do that maze portion. Still don't understand how people uh, first discovered that. So, I'm in the middle of this cave. I don't want to walk all the way back. I don't think you guys would blame me for wanting to walk all the way back. So, I'm going to use my hearthstone. Simple as that. Hearthstones do have a fairly long cast. I think their cast time is 10 seconds. Uh, this prevents you from just... Uh, Hard thing out when something's running at you. Um, because the cast is interrupted whenever you get hit. So. Obviously you can't do it in combat. And I got pants. Yay. You give me a gun. That's worse than what I have. Good. Razzle surprise pocket. Can I help you? Be seeing you? I will be seeing you too because I need to turn this quest into you. <gasps> it's another player. There's another player in the world. Okay. Now you might occasionally run into class trainers. They're not really that important anymore. They used to be incredibly important back in... I think before Missa Pandaria. I think Missa Pandaria is when that changed. Um, yeah, because I... 
Yep, it was Mr. Pandaria. Because I remember still having to go and talk to them in Lich King. So, they're not that important anymore. Uh, really, they just send you to Proving Grounds. They used to... You used to have to go and talk to them and buy your skills. And before that... Or after that, rather. They would reset your talents. But now your talents can be reset in any... Um, rested area. And then after that... They would provide you with dual talent spec, which you had to buy. And nowadays, everyone gets all of their talent specs. You just have to be in out of combat to switch between them. Which I think is handy. I think it's nice. You used to... you. There's a feat of... It might be a legacy one, though, for... Um, Getting dual talent specialization. I know I have it. Is it a legacy achievement or is it a... Yeah, it's a legacy achievement. Okay, I have to fight my way over there. Bun here doing work. I think when I get back to uh, when I get back to Karanos, I'm gonna have to do that bar thing because uh, Hearthstone. Yeah. Ooh. Have all the, I don't have all the gears. Let me just shoot this guy. He'll give me a gear. Cool. I will work on my bars when I get back to town. Especially since I'm going to be getting a mount eventually. Not today, but eventually. Maybe not even today's recording day. Ew. Whatever. I like what they did with 735. I know it takes a lot longer to level now, but I really like what they did because it's not just, oh, I, wa I look at something and I kill it. Or, oh, I did three quests and now I need to go on to the next zone. It's, yeah, you can stay in this zone for as long as you want. Um, yeah. But as soon as I get to level f something, I'm going to move on. Um, I'm going to get that one because, it, well, they both sell for the same amount, but whatever. What do you give me? Oh, you give me uh, gloves. Are they better than what I have? Yes, they are. Cool. What are you going to do to me? Uh, cool. Uh, let me sell some stuff. What are you? Can I sell? Nope. Okay, so I might have to go in the end to sell. Which is fine. There's another person. It's a shaman. Oh my god, it's a shaman. Uh, there's a gnome. It's a warlock. Oh my god, they're actually people. Um, there's some things that you aren't going to want to sell to vendors. They are mostly profession materials, like linen cloth, copper ore, that sort of thing. Those are going to go for a lot more on the auction house than you're going to get from a vendor. So we're going to hold on to those until we get to Stormwind. And now we're going to head over here. And I think that's actually it for this video. So I will see you all at the next one.